hello Una from Oz here welcome to the studio one of the junk journal groups I'm with put out a challenge to use up your 12 by 12 papers and they talked about using an ugly paper and turning it into something nice and I ch chose two pieces of ugly paper I've got a lot of scrapbooking paper and this was one piece but I actually haven't got another bit of the other one I used but it was it was a uh, they both were blank on the um, underside and I thought I would turn it into a little um, journal. So this is the journal I made. It's it's morphed into something of its own so it's got quite large. So the upper paper was a bit sort of, had a few little florals and a few little thing, uh, spirally bits and it was basically white with a bit of splotches of paley pink and a bit of red and a bit of blue it, 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 it not a paper I would have used anyway so what I did was I got this book I'll grab it over here so I got this book Janet Marsh's Nature Diary I've had it for a, quite a while and um, it came to me with um, some pages already um, damaged and I've been using it to make a few things but I thought I would use it and make this little um, nature journal. So I put some little stickers on so I've just cut, um, cut the paper up and used it. Now one of the challenges was to use up ugly paper which I've used two pieces and the other challenge was to use 12 for 12 with no um, offcuts, no leftovers, no scraps. So what I did was I cut one piece of 12 by 12 in half and then I folded it in to make a pocket to make the cover either side and to make another similar page in the middle here and this piece of lovely uh, paper I cut into uh, four pieces of six by six and then just folded them in half and used them as inserts. So I've covered them with pages from this nature diary. So I've covered the, f that's the cover back and front and I've done a little stitching around it. I actually tucked a bit under to make it nice and firm uh, in the tuck there and I've used one of put one of my little ready-made tags in so because I did a sort of nature theme it's got a lot of mushrooms and toadstools and and um, plant life and some butterflies and because I like my journals to be written in I included a couple of just um, hand uh, just uh, printed paper with lines on so again, another covered piece of paper, more printed paper. This is another one like the cover with the fold over. I made a little tag out of some dictionary pages, put a couple of bits of paper on it and, and some stickers. And again, I just cut a matching piece to cover the paper. So you sort of can't really see the original paper, um, which is a bit thankful because it was not the kind of paper I would generally use so I think um, this has worked out quite well using the images from the book uh, making a few tags and um, using up some of those ugly papers that I'm sure us crafters do have um, some of so I was really happy it took me a couple of hours um, this was a tag I'd made another time, but um, that sort of works in there. Took me a couple of hours and I really like it. It's a bit bulky. I might have to sit it under something overnight. I've got a little bit of journal creep. I can't cut that bit there off because it's part of the fold of the uh, flip over. But I did uh, trim a few pieces up. But I think if I sit it under a bunch of books overnight, it might flatten out. I haven't worked out what kind of closure I'll put on. If I put a closure on, um, I'll have less room to put the tag in. So that may or may not work. I'll just have to think about what kind of closure I want to put on it. Anyway, I thought you might like to have a little look at this um, little journal I made for the challenge using ugly papers and using all of the 12 by 12 with no offcuts or leftovers. Anyway, thank you for watching and um, join me next time to see what we can make.